One community is rallying tonight around the family of Caitlin Wolf. Two men are charged with killing the 19 year old earlier this month. Donations have poured into Linton, Indiana, but plans as to where that money will go has not been made clear. News 10's Patsy Kelly did some digging tonight to find out how the donations will benefit the family. In tonight's top story, she found the family does have a plan. Patsy, explain what's going on there. Well, Mark Patrice, we're live at Humphreys Park in Linton. There's an event underway right now to generate more donations for the Wolf family. But there's been some speculation about where that money is going. And should um, one or both of them choose not to seek a higher education, the fund will roll over into the Caitlin Wolf Arts Scholarship Fund, which is not 100% set up yet. Regions Bank in Linton will handle monetary donations for Caitlin Wolf. After funeral expenses, money will help her brothers. Eric is so, so happy that, that the scholarship fund is being created for his sons. He just is, his heart's just swelling with pride. He's extremely happy. Caitlin's two younger brothers are college bound in a few years. Caitlin is extremely artistic. Art meant a lot to her. She was a, a painter, a writer. Um, she was going to Ivy Tech State College. Um, she, she was going to study the arts. Um, it's very, you know, that was very important to her, so it's very important to us. One is hoping to go to school for art, just like his sister. Gavin's 17, and I believe he's mentioned that he has an interest in going to, to college for the arts. So we're really happy to help support that. Llewellyn says this community has backed the Wolf family and created a strong support system in their tight-knit community. The way the community has come together has just amazed everyone. Now, Llewellyn hasn't decided yet which foundation that she would like to work with on the Caitlin Wolf Art Scholarship Fund. Now, there are donations that have been sent in from all over the United States. There's even some coming from Europe. The event here tonight is scheduled to go until midnight. Mark, back to you. Okay, thank you, Patsy. Uh, if you would, tell us a little bit about the event that's going on tonight. Well, there's about seven bands here tonight, including what I heard, one of Caitlin's favorites. There's a lot of food, and I believe there's a silent auction as well. Now, organizers say that they do are expecting over a thousand people here tonight. Thank you, Patsy.